Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can build a Katana tank mercenary for yourself. Uh, mercenaries just uh, received a huge buff so they can use skills now before the, prob the main problem of tank mercs was that they had huge troubles keeping the aggro actually if you didn't have like my minus aggro fruit or stuff like that but now they can use skills like provoke and keep the aggro quite well. So I built a Katana merc tank merc and in the end I will also show you some gameplay with the full party uh, where you can see how well the merc works. But before I want to jump into the specifics about the katana merc I want to talk a little bit about mercs in general. Before I start all of the information I will share with you come from a data miner who did a post on the Torum online forums some years ago about uh, which stats affect mercs and stuff like that and I will put uh, the link to that forums post in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. So as we can see, not many stats actually affect mercs. Um, for tank mercs, obviously max HP is important to increase uh, the survivability. Resistance of any sorts don't work on mercs. Defense works, but mercs get a defense buff anyways, based on the level. It is uh, the merc level multiplied by 10. So a level 215 merc will gain 2150 additional defense and magic defense. So adding any defense doesn't really matter because uh, the defense value is already uh, so high. Also important is the hit value. The reason is because mercs generate 150 aggro per auto attack, but auto attacks only generate aggro when they hit the boss, but mercs don't have any crit. So they need hit rate to actually hit the boss. Also important is attack speed because obviously it increases uh, the auto attack speed and also the animation speed. But it depends a bit on what merc you want to build if you need it or not. But what's, what every tank merc needs is above 1000 attack speed because uh, there is something called motion lock. A merc will run away from the boss if the boss gets too close, but uh, that doesn't happen if you have over 1000 attack speed. Because uh, mercs get additional resistances if they are very close to the boss, so you want them as close to the boss as possible at all times. Also it would be annoying if the tank merc runs away all the time when you just placed your decoy shot. Alright, so let's get to the actual character creation. For the stats you want Vitality as your first set, uh, obviously for max HP. For the secondary stat you want to go either for Dexterity or Agility. I went with uh, Dexterity for a higher hit rate, so my Merc can hit the boss more often. Uh, I don't want too much attack speed, you will see that later on when I show you the skills I set for my Merc. Okay, to the equipment. You can see I refined my Katana to plus S, but that's really unnecessary, I already had it refined before I decided to use it for my tank merc. But anyways, you want to use uh, the Scarlet Sakura Fairy Sword, which gives you 10k HP and 75 accuracy. It was a drop from Amalgam from the Hanami event, so I hope you got it. Um, for the sub weapon, you want to use Guardian Dagger for 10% HP. Here I use Maple Coat for 30% HP. You can also use Demon Empress Garb with 10k HP. That's actually a little bit better than Maple Coat. And even better would be if you got the... There was a special Ooze Armor from Valentine's event which gave 75% HP, but I haven't gotten it. If you got it, use it. For the additional, you want to use uh, the Neothoth Mask, which gives 60% HP. And for the special, you want to use Beast Talisman, which gives you 20% HP. Alright, so for the Ixtles, you want to use a King Potom in Platinum Potom in the Scarlet Sakura Fairy Sword. Here, Eroded Pills for 30% HP. Here, Candela for 20% HP and also Attack Speed 600, which helps you to just get a little bit above the 1k attack speed, so you just have enough to uh, get the motion lock. And here, also Platinum Potom. But there is a cheaper alternative, which would be Crystal Titan. It gives a little bit less HP, but it costs way less. So if you're on a budget, better get uh, Crystal Titan here. Okay, now to the skills. Uh, of course, you want Provoke set on Assault. Assault means uh, that the Merc will use it whenever it is available. Uh, provoke generates like 1200 aggro, I think. Um, so yeah, that is uh, the aggro source of the Merc, the main aggro source. And on the secondary skill, the reason why I use a Katana is that I use Megatachi and I put that on survive. Survive means I used when the mercenary is in danger. So when there's an AoE, my Merc will use Megatachi and hopefully the AoE will land in the parry um, time frame, which gives my Merc 90% resistance and he takes less damage. That is also why I didn't choose agility as the second stat because more attack speed just makes uh, the Megatachi parry window shorter. So it's harder to parry for the Merc. So if you then register the Merc, it should 
certain look about like this um 170k max hp if you've got the ooze armor you should be close to 200k level 10 first aid level 10 play dead so get those star gems or skills whatever and then provoke and megadachi what we just um, said all right now you will see some gameplay with me on katana and two bow players on kutsto ultimate and you will see the workers no problems to survive and also no problems to keep aggro and also keep in mind none of us used minus aggro food so we had the usual dps aggro so well see for yourself